When did you last weep in prayer as you prayed over the loss? Have you got a frozen heart? We need in our local churches the presence of God restored, the presidency of the Holy Ghost manifested, and then the power of God demonstrated. Are we willing? And then lastly, we need New Testament evangelism where we all go out. As I was sharing with them yesterday, two young men in a university laid themselves on the altar and when I got there, there were 40 to 50 wonderfully saved. Not by great meetings, one leading another to Christ. We have only a few seconds left. We're all going home shortly. <coughs> we don't want the Lord to come when we're barren. Let's pray that there might be revival among us. Let's give ourselves to prayer now. Shall we pray? Lord, we are conscious that thou hast been not only watching, but listening. We are aware that the Lord is watching the movements of our hearts, and he knows the response. Lord, we have seen tonight this woman's extremity. And in that extremity, she rediscovers the pot of oil. Help us to rediscover the power of the Spirit. Please help us, Lord. Help us to see that we are vessels and we must realize that we are borrowed. We don't belong to ourselves, we belong to the Lord. Help us to realize there's great variety in the house of God. We pray that there may be cleansing, real cleansing in our hearts. And may we know the filling of the Spirit when we shall come under the Lordship of our Saviour in a way that we have never known before. And then, Lord, set us aside to be used of the Lord. Father, we would ask thee earnestly, please do not take away the lampstands. But may there be assemblies revived and blessed and used of the Lord. This is our prayer. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Well, thank you, dear friends, for coming. I do hope you'll take the word seriously. And nothing would please me more to hear of fires burning in local churches. May it happen for his glory. Amen.